So that's done. That's the cross compile part of the build we've done. So the next bit we'd now do is similar to um, what's built for the temporary um, Linux from scratch part. And these will be using the cross compile tools that we've just built rather than the um, host system tools, which is what would normally be used at this point. So it says just to check that we've got the CLFS environment variable set up, which of course we have. Um, we're still building as the um, CLFS user. Um, but this time the tools um, are installed into the um, tools directory, the temporary tools are installed into the tools directory, but we'll be using the um, cross compile tools, the ones that matter anyway, that we've just built in the cross tools directory. So now some extra variables are going to be exported, which will help the cross compilation. And these commands will actually make them part of the um, startup bash file um, so that they get read in case we leave the CLFS user at any point for any reason. So once again we now build GMP. Also slightly different commands because we're telling the system we're, we're building for um, a particular target now. And indeed some of these tools will um, output a status at the end of the configure which will confirm um, what's happening as regards the architecture that's being built for. So you can see it it's, sees that the host is the i486 because that's the what we've built in the tools. API is 32-bit. We're installing to the new tools directory, which is where we'll build our final system from. So everything we're building now is what the final system will use. And you can see it's using our newly compiled GCC, which is uh, which has been compiled for 486. So let's build this. And if you remember from the Linux from scratch before that video, the whole idea of these stages, well, the two stages in Linux from scratch is to divorce the final build from the host system. In the final build, you don't want any references to the, to the host system. So you build the intermediate tools as a like a stop gap if you like to um, stop any references being made to the host system in the final system same thing again here but as I said before the only difference is we've got a cross compile tools that are built um, purely so that we can get from the 64-bit processor to the 32-bit 486 processor so that's how the um, how the architecture is divorced from the original. Okay, so we can just install now. And tidy up.
So we've got a patch to put in and configure it. And now build. And we can install it now and tidy up. So move on to MPC again. So we'll just configure. Now these commands are pretty standard for some of these packages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link these commands together. So you see we're running the configure command, we're telling it we want the tool, the programs, the binaries to be installed into the tools directory. We've got to build a CLFS host and a target, uh, sorry, a host of CLFS target. And we make and we install the package. So that's done. This one's ISL. So this looks to be this similar command again. So if we recall it, I'm going to put a time command in front of it just to make it easy to search for next time. But with this, you must check that this bulk command is exactly the same as what's here, so just read through it. So it's prefixes tools, build is CFS host, and host is CFS target. And we're making and we're making installing, so that all looks good. Yeah, we can clean up. Move on to Zlib. So this has got a very basic command. So what we can do is we can call this command. We want prefix it was tools. We just don't want these two. And it's done.